Okay, so let's talk about Aura Components. This is a development framework to create Lightning Components. But now, Salesforce has what it's called Lightning Web Components. Basically, we can create both, um, we can create Lightning Components both using the Aura Components or the newer Lightning Web Components. So let's read this together. As of Spring 19 release, you can build Lightning Components using two programming models. The Lightning Web Components, which is a newer model, and the older original Aura Components model. Lightning Web Components and Aura Components can coexist and interoperate on a page. This content covers Aura Components. So this whole module, this whole module here are discussing about Aura Components. But because we now have a newer framework, a newer model, which is Lightning Web Components, we will be learning Lightning Web Components instead of the Aura Components. Well, why? Because Lightning Web Components will perform better. So when you build a Lightning Components based of Lightning Web Components framework, it will perform faster and better uh, compared to Aura Components. Why? Because the Lightning Web Components utilizes the features you already have in your browser here, in your Chrome browser, in your Firefox browser or Safari, and utilize that functionalities that's already exist in your browser and maximize the performance from there. With Aura Components, you're, you're basically uh, depending on the framework to do the heavy lifting. Everything is um, performed by the by the code you you use on Aura, but with Lightning Web Components, you are utilizing your browser's capability, making your um, code or your component lightning fast, faster and lighter, which is better. So that is why I have decided not to mix the two together. So let's not go into the Aura Web comp or the Aura Components, but we will dive in directly to the Lightning Web Components on a separate module. So that's it. I want to discuss and address why you will not find the Aura Components basic um, on the whole course that we have on the Developer Intermediate because we want to focus and not confuse things. And let's just learn the newer one, which is the better one already. So we will go through the Lightning Web Components instead. All right, that's it. I'll see you on the next module. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.